Hey there, Anne Marie here. Welcome back to the Sandwich Generation. Um, I need to talk to you about something that's kind of messy, but we're going to talk about it anyway, and that is people that have kids and stepkids. So, as it turns out, no matter when your parents, step parents married each other, when they blended that family, even if it's been 50 plus years ago, it Every single time, whenever we're deciding where to move mom and dad, what kind of care they need, stuff like that, it always comes up that they are looking for, you know, this over here, but the stepkids are looking for this over there. And the reason I'm bringing this up to you now is because a few months ago, I've waited for some time to go by, but a few months ago, I was in a community and this lovely man lived in the assisted living there and he had a wife and his wife has dementia and he had more of a mobility issue he wound up there after like a rehab scenario after a fall and he had his wits about him but he didn't have the other so meanwhile while he was in the hospital with his broken whatever um the stepkid who is the parent the direct child of the other parent decided that there's nothing wrong with mom and they decided to move mother out of state to live near one of the kids and didn't even talk about senior living nothing they're just going to drop her off there in a the house and i witnessed when they brought the wife by to say goodbye and honestly they weren't even planning on bringing her by to say goodbye, but because these people are still married, they needed him to sign a few papers. And so they brought the papers there and said, say goodbye to your wife. And then after that, he was all alone here in the Metroplex. And then his kids decided that they were gonna move him near them in a whole other state in the opposite direction. And I got to witness firsthand and speak to this man and witness his absolute sorrow and heartbreak. And he couldn't understand why his kids or even his stepkids that he had raised forever as if they were his own, why all of a sudden they would turn like that and split up the family. And I agree that that's a reasonably extreme situation but just so you know some version of that happens every single time in a blended family every time it doesn't matter if they've been married a year they got married when they were 85 and then now they're 86 or did they get married in their late 20s and you've been growing up with those siblings in the house your whole life and you guys really are a family but something happens whenever we're stressed out and we're thinking about care and 99% of the time, no matter what your family situation is, everybody's got a different opinion about what we should do. But in this scenario, I implore you, don't hurt your parents like that. You know, think of them and their situation first. It's not always the best idea to keep them together. You know, they could hate each other, but truly, if they are a couple and they love each other and they, you know, want to be together, don't do things like, you know, convince one of them that this isn't best for them and you're going to move them closer to you. Well, I'm just going to say it out here. It is just straight up selfish. And I know that's maybe easier for you, but you have to think about that married couple as a unit. And please consider what is best for them and their relationship moving forward, at least as much as you're considering what is more convenient for you. So I hope that never, ever happens. And we have all the wonderful move-ins and we have people that go home and live out their lives forever. But if you are one of those kids, if you're in one of those situations, this message is directly to you. And I really hope that you'll seriously consider what's best for that married couple. Okay, we're not going to talk about anything unpleasant anymore. Let's have a good day and we'll talk another day about some more fun things.